Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Back up, back you up with the information that matters to you. Hey yo, check this out, man. Your boy Kanye West, um, uh, you know, uh, look, look, my boy Kanye West. You see what I'm saying? He's going through a lot right now. You know what I mean? Um, he has he has admitted to making a lot of mistakes in his marriage. Okay? He has admitted to having a drinking problem. He has admitted to having a temper problem. Man, that's, that's a big deal right there. A lot of people wouldn't admit to those kinds of things. You see what I'm saying? But now, right? Um, and, and, you know, yesterday was Thanksgiving, right? So Kanye has revealed his Thanksgiving prayer. Okay, yo, I want you to take a listen to this prayer real quick because I, yo, it's pretty heavy, man. And and he does admit a, a lot of things that a lot of people would struggle to admit. Right. Hey, yo, take a listen to what this man Kanye had to West, say. Take a listen. Conway West side. You never noticed that, did you? The uh. Hello, my name is Jay, and this is my super, 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 super long Thanksgiving prayer. On this Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for family, my blood family, my fans and our haters. We love you too. On Thanksgiving, on Christmas morning, not the night before or the day, just the morning. We're thankful for our current civilization of 8 billion people, our ancestors and our children. I'm writing this prayer on my way back from taking my mini me to his first football game. Saint got to play catch with Tom Brady before the game. This is a God's dream. My mini me is a mix of two of my favorite things, me and my wife's face. All I think about every day is how I get my family back together and how I heal the pain that I've caused. I take accountability for my actions. New word alert, misactions. The one thing that all my successes and failures have in common is me. Let's start with A, alcohol. I would drink to take the stress away, to knock the edge off. Drinking affected my health and the health of people around, around me because I already had a hair trigger temper and this just heightened it. B, episodes. I went into a manic episode in 2016 and I was placed under heavy medication. Since then, I went on and off the medication which left me susceptible to other episodes which my wife and family and fans have had to endure. Ego. My ego has a tendency to go past the threshold of being motivating and entertaining to just being overbearing. There are ways to show confidence without arrogance. Temper. Now I know none of y'all would ever picture this, but sometimes I scream. <laughs> and that screaming might have helped me tell off everyone who doubted me in music, but that screaming did not help me keep my family together. Religion self-righteous Christian behavior. When I got saved, it did not immediately make me a better person. It made me a self-righteous Christian. Mix that with being rich, famous, and very, 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 very attractive. And you got a Molotov cocktail ready to be thrown through the window of anyone who ever disagreed with me. I was arrogant with my Jesus. Like I had just got me some Jesus at the Gucci store with a stimulus check. Let's go with politics here. Good Lord, my wife did not like me wearing the red hat. Being a good wife, she just wanted to protect me and our family. I made me and our family a target by not aligning with Hollywood's political stance, and that was hard for our marriage. Then I ran for president without proper preparation and no allies on either side. I embarrassed my wife in the way that I presented information about our family during the one and thank God only press conference. All my dad had to say afterwards was, write your speech next time, son. F is for finances. I spent money like crazy. I mean, it's the craziest thing I've done and I've done a lot of crazy things. As the priest of my home, I must watch my own money and secure our finances. This is America, so people don't consider stealing to be stealing. They just chalk it up to greed, consumerism, and capitalism. I've let people use me. I've had giant entourages, people around me just to make me feel good about myself. I've had to learn that I had to take accountability. We always judge and tell other people what they should do, but we can only take accountability for ourselves and our children. 
this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for the family that my wife has given me. I'm thankful for the life that God has given me. And I'm thankful for your time, attention, and patience. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, yo, this man said that all he thinks about is getting his family back together, how he could heal the pain, right? One thing that all his successes and failures have in common is him. He's talking about alcohol addiction, right? I mean, this is a big deal right here, man. Yo, I mean, it takes a lot for a person to admit they faults. You see what I'm saying? And that is hard to come by just right off the top, man. Um, of course... This is not my family, so it's easy for me to say whatever I, I can say on, on the topic. You know what I mean? Um, I think I think that in a marriage relationship, once we start saying people are stepping out and, and, and they're and they're having relations with other people. Well, to me, that provides legal grounds before the most high legal grounds for divorce. You see what I'm saying? But. We also know that there is a family at stake and he wants to see his family still together. He even sounds like he's to the point where he will forgive those kinds of indiscretions. You see what I'm saying? But um, uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's so difficult for me because, you know, I, it's always the key and it's always the key lock analogy with me. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 the lock that's opened by any key is a bad lock. You know what I mean? Yes, he like if he stepped out, he's wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? If she stepped out, she's wrong for that. But sometimes I feel like it takes more for a woman to step out than for a dude to step out. And if a woman does step out, then then like she she meant she mentally checked out in in a much more deeper way than he would have checked out. A, a dude to sleep with anything. You know what I mean? Like if the if the hole is available, you know what I mean? And like ain't nobody around, it's gonna happen. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Like if he's like, but I don't know, man. Yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Back up, backing you up with the information that matters to you.